This is Movie Turn. Leslie Mitchell reporting. Well, this is what it looked like in the city of London during the holiday. The only surprise being that there were any people there at all. But where had everyone gone? Anyone who was at South End may have been excused for thinking that most of the people of Britain had gone there. It was like August bank holiday, only more so. And of course, there were countless ways of enjoying the glorious weather. The famous pier was running new streamlined trains as well as the older kind, both of them for the benefit of the people who didn't fancy walking a mile out to sea. It certainly was astonishing weather, and everyone was brim full of energy. There were also one or two people at Brighton. Here too it looked very much like midsummer. Indeed, according to the weather experts, we have to go back a hundred years to beat some of the records set up this Easter, and that means that few of us can remember anything like it. Sun shone every day without a cloud on the horizon. And that's the kind of thing that takes a year or two off everyone. And the joys of Easter 1949 were by no means confined to England's south coast. Take a look at Blackpool. It was the same story here where vast numbers made the most of the holiday, each according to his or her choice. Some 40,000 people went to Goodwood for the motor racing. There was a program of seven events organized by the British Automobile Racing Club and plenty of really thrilling sport was provided. race was the Richmond Trophy, a 10-lap contest in which, by the way, Bob Gerrard and Tony Rolt collided and had very narrow escapes. Certainly, the racing and the weather were fully appreciated by the Goodwood crowd. The sport at Tinsley Green near Gatwick wasn't perhaps quite so fast-moving or so risky, but the Marbles Championship of Great Britain has its devotees who crowd around to see the experts flipping the tollies. Handsome trophies go with the sport, but in such thirsty weather, I dare say this runner-up was adequately consoled for not winning. Now back to London, where tens of thousands packed into Hyde Park for the Easter Parade. This was something of an innovation, and the accent, appropriately enough for Easter, was on hats. Stars of stage and screen, as well as models and other elegant types, were there to show off the latest in chapeau, whether smart or merely extravagant. And there was quite a dress parade as well, with plenty of lovelies wearing old-fashioned frocks, or maybe they're the newest new looks. As you see, there was a four in hand which drove with great difficulty along Rotten Row. And this was evidently thirsty work too. Estimates put the Hyde Park crowd at 300,000. What an Easter holiday, wasn't it? Thank you.